Um, she was just wonderful. I mean, at the time when we, I was getting ready to start planning the baby blessing, my biggest concern was finding an officiant that that we connected with, and um, you know, it's kind of the miracle of the internet because. I think like you know, when we got married, 13, it'll be 14 years in September, the yeah. internet was still not what it is today. And it just it, it created you know, the opportunity to find her. And she really just knew exactly what we were looking for, was so supportive. Um, and just really, what I wrote, what I wrote to her afterwards was that she was. I think I said, you know, she was the glitter that made the day sparkle, and, and the glue. That's what it was. It was the glue that held the day together, and the glitter that made it sparkle. And she really is just a magical, like, loving woman. And it, it really, it, we have such cherished memories of that day. My my wife and I uh, spent a long time looking for somebody to do ceremonies for us. Uh, we're both spiritual, but neither of us are really religious, and uh, Reverend Maycomb fit the bill perfectly. Uh, she was definitely able to work with us and incorporate so many different things, uh, both from our cultures and both trying to, also trying to avoid uh, being too religious in, in certain aspects. And uh, it was great, great experience, uh, both for our wedding ceremony and for the blessing of our first child. And uh, we'll be Look forward to talk to her again for our next kid as well. Um, my mom read her first book, Joining Hands and Hearts, and uh, we contacted her because my husband's Indian and I grew up Catholic and we wanted um, a unique interfaith, intercultural wedding, and she was available. We were so excited, and so she flew to San Diego and did our wedding in October of 2009. And um, we kept in touch, and she's really a part of our family. And, and now we're expecting our first baby, so we're really excited to come here today and share this uh, celebration with her. I mean, we've been so fortunate to know Susanna now for 10 years, a little over 10 years. She performed our wedding ceremony at St. Paul's Chapel at Columbia University 10 years ago this September. And then five years ago, she did our son Benjamin's um, baby blessing when he was 10 months old. And She's just been a big part of our lives and our family. She just has such a gift to connect with people and speaks so well and just draws everybody in. And um, we've been so fortunate to be part of her, her life and she's been part of our life. And um, I guess you could say two ceremonies, two books, and we've been to both of her book parties and they're always so special and she's so giving. Well, I worked with Susanna on her book, Joining Hands and Hearts. And uh, it was, she was obviously a wonderful person to work with, and it was a great experience. And over the, as we were working, I ended up uh, getting engaged. And once you get to know her, I mean, there just was no option. We just knew that she was going to be the person to do our ceremony. And it was incredibly special to have someone who had become such a friend and who brought, made such an incredibly magical and special and memorable occasion out of our wedding something that we talk about to this day almost 10 years later and our family and friends remember so fondly. It was wonderful. Sure, well I met Susanna when she worked on the book Joining Hands and Hearts with my mother, Andrea Thompson, and uh, she became a, a friend through that and ended up marrying my husband Ethan and I in 2007. She worked with us to craft the most beautiful wedding ceremony. Um, blending his past and my past and, uh, and it was wonderful and people still come up to us today and say that our wedding ceremony was the most special that they could do. It was really special for us and uh, it, it stayed with everybody else who was there to make the day really, really terrific. So she remains a, a family friend and a terrific person. Uh, Reverend Susanna married us in January of 2005 and um, we Reverend Susanna and I both like to say that we're both Catholic school girls, Catholic school girls that Italian Catholic school girls, and uh, we had a wonderful experience with her. She did an amazing job. We wouldn't be here today if she didn't do such a wonderful job, and she means so much to us. Yeah, she was very thoughtful, and she listened to us, and got to know us, and. Uh, our ceremony was all about us, and you know, it was unique and uh, unforgettable. So you know, we're very grateful.